Here we have an iPhone 6 Plus. Customer brought this in and he said that the phone gets very hot from this area here. When the phone turns on, it gets very hot from here and there's no image on the screen. Now the customer tried to change the screen on this and he also tried to change the battery. So he has a uh, brand new battery on here. But uh, even after changing the screen and battery, the phone still does not turn on. So it gets very hot from here. Heat is an indication that there's a short somewhere on the board. I love it. I love it when there's a heat related issue because I can easily turn on the thermal camera. I'll see where the heat is coming from. If there's a short, I will change the component that's causing the short and the job is done. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I have the thermal camera on and I can see the whole phone under the thermal camera. I'm going to plug the battery in. So by plugging the battery alone without turning the phone, I do not see any hot spots. Okay, everything is normal. And now if I power on the phone. Okay, so heat is starting from down here. So what we have to do is remove the, the plate and look at what's under here. Let me unplug the battery. And just one second. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good, how are you? All right. Uh, I was wondering if, if uh, you guys were able to fix my phone. Uh, which one? It's a T Mobile Rebel. North is fixed. All right, man. That's it. Have a good night. All I have to do is use the thermal cam to locate where that heat area is coming from. I can probably pinpoint the component that is causing the heat. And heat is an indication that there is a short somewhere on the board. So by locating the component that's getting hot, we can easily change the component and the phone will go back to a working condition. Now, if there's no signs of heat on the board, that's when things gets complicated because you have to do a lot of measurements and a lot of testing to figure out where the problem is coming from. So heat, it gives you a free card to know where the problem is coming from. So I did not test this phone yet. We're gonna test it together under a thermal cam. Uh, just as a quick note, I do see some red dots on the board. Uh, red dots uh, indicates that there is some type of liquid spill that came on the board. Customer did not mention anything about liquid spills. I do see that the battery has been changed and the phone came like this without a screen. If I quickly inspect this under a microscope. What's this here and what's this here? I'm doing a quick physical inspection to begin with. I do not see any corrosion on the board. Let me remove this. And I do see corrosion. Okay, so I think this repair may be more involved than what I'm thinking, but we'll take it one step at a time. Okay, uh, let's inspect the phone under a thermal cam and see what's going on. Let's try to power on the phone press and hold. All right, so heat is being generated from this area here, right here. What we have to do is remove this shield so we can look to see what's under it. That's it. The shield is out. Let's take a look at what's under it. Okay, so the heat was coming from down here. It could be one of those caps shorting out. Let's go to the thermal camera again and try to power the phone on. Go to the zoom in menu of the thermal cam. And maybe we can zoom in four times. 4x. Are we in focus? Okay. 
and I'm going to use the manual mode of the camera. And we're going to ask the camera to show us only heat spots ranging from, let's say, 132 to 155. So we're not seeing anything now because we do not have anything on the board that is heating up between 122 to 155 degrees Fahrenheit. One, two, three. This part right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is raise the temperature boundaries to a point. I'm going to raise it up so much so it pinpoints the hottest area on the board. The hottest area on the board is usually the, the part that is created in the short. Because heat starts from that point and then spreads over to other areas on the board. So the hottest area on the board is the area that is causing the short. Okay, so this is the component that is heating up the most. Let's go to our microscope. So it's this one here. Our short is coming from this component. You see how the thermal camera pinpointed the hottest area on the board? If we test that component with our multimeter using the diode mode, we should be able to confirm that we have a short here. Okay, so let's see. You see? We are in diode mode. And we do have a short. So thank you very much, thermal camera, for pointing out where the short is coming from. You have to be careful not to apply heat to this area because this is the CPU and this is the capacitor. If you want to apply, if you want to use your hot air station to heat up this component to remove it, you're going to most likely expose the CPU to heat. And exposing the CPU to heat is never a good thing because balls under it can shift and can create a mess that cannot be fixed. So right now what I'm going to do is remove the capacitor using our hot tweezers. Okay, almost there. Remove the capacitor, and now we're going to check for a short again. Short is gone. This is ground, and this is the other part of the capacitor. Our short is gone. Most likely this phone will turn on without having to replace the capacitor. I did not even look at the circuit diagram. I did not even look at the board diagram. I just looked at my thermal camera. It pinpointed where the heat is coming from, hottest area on the board. I pointed the tweezer over the component. I removed the component and our short is gone. And now I bet that if we put a screen on this phone, the phone is going to turn on. Okay, so, uh, so all connectors are in place and we're going to turn on. And we have a working phone. The phone is working. That's all it took. So let's take a look at this again under the microscope to show you what component was removed. This component right here. So that was the component that was causing the short. And this capacitor is a filter. We do not have to replace it. There are a lot of other capacitors that will do the filtering. So the job is done. It would be nice to look at the phone under the thermal cam again. Now the phone is on. And I'm going to lower the temperature on the thermal cam. Oh, here. Okay, so that's our CPU right here. So CPU does get hot. That's what CPUs do. And CPU is hot from 137 to 151. It's going on and off, on and off. As you use the phone, CPU will heat up. Now it looks like the phone went to sleep.
so the CPU went to sleep also. If I press the power button, CPU will wake back up. Okay, so that's what CPUs do. And no other hot areas on the board. Lower down the temperature even more. And let's put this in auto mode. Okay, so everything is normal on the board now. Very good, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next video.